This is another section of the video where we'll show Fobo share function. So Fobo share function is a feature that allows user to share their Fobo tire set with another user. So this is the situation where, where this car is being shared by family and friends and um, the owner of the car would share its reading with another compatible phone that has Fobo tire app installed. So first I'll launch the app, Fobo tire. As you remember that I've already got the Mercedes paired to this uh, iPhone 6. Tap on the Mercedes icon to go in. These are the readings of this car I have right in front of me. And today I've got an iPhone 6 Plus next to me that is running Fobo Tire app that, and has a different Fobo Tire user account. So to activate Fobo Share, click on the settings button that's on the top right corner. Click on share car profile. So over here you see a list of users that you have shared with. And in this case, I've not shared with anyone. To have the first user shared, click on the plus sign on the right hand corner. Key in the email address of the person that you'd like to share with. So just a note, you have to ensure that the person that you're sharing with now has a compatible phone and a Fobo Tire app installed on their phone. So I've keyed in the email address of the person that I have to share with. Click on done. And the name of the user account that I shared has appeared here. So I'll go back. Okay. And um, now the information is being pushed to the cloud. And uh, you see it on this screen shortly. So what I'll do, I'll refresh the screen of this iPhone 6 Plus that I've shared with. Just to show you the user account that I've been sharing with. Now you see, Mercedes E400 that I've shared with has appeared on a different user account on a different phone. So I'll tap on it. And this phone now is getting reading from the car that we have right in front of us. There you go. The sharing has been completed and two phones now with two different Fobotai user account is reading information from the same car. So as you notice that the, um, the iPhone 6 is the master or the owner of the set and the iPhone 6 Plus here is the uh, shared phone. So you see a difference in the pressure reading, the units. On the, the default phone, it's in PSI because just now we've went through a user guide to change from KPA to PSI. And when you do a sharing, the shared phone will by default display the reading in KPA for the pressure and Celsius for the temperature. So the uh, shared phone can also change the, the units or the reading units as how they like to read it. So on the shared phone, I'll go back to the home screen and on top there's a setting button. This is a settings for uh, the general Fobo Tire app. Click on it and I can change the pressure unit now from KPA to PSI. The temperature unit from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And I go back, go back to the, so now you see the exact same reading and also the units in PSI and Fahrenheit for this car in front of us. And this is the master phone and the iPhone 6 Plus is a shared phone. It's reading from the same sensors installed in this car.